the transition from subacute to chronic, we would say is where uh, fungal infection can uh, enter into the picture here. And what is very common actually for chronic sinusitis uh, is that we see a combination of both fungal and bacterial infection in the sinuses, uh, which is not good, right? So, uh, but the fungal infection can be a major component of that. And this is why when we're considering if you ever get someone with a chronic sinusitis situation, you want to consider um, an antifungal approach in, as alongside an antibacterial approach. Now, a lot of people out there say, oh, if your mucus is green, it's bacterial. If it's clear, it's viral. I really don't know how much validity there is to that. I think that's, I don't think that's super reliable. I think what is very common is that I think a better way to think about it is that anytime you see mucus that is yellow to green in color, that usually indicates greater levels of heat. Okay. So that indicates heat from a traditional perspective, which if you think of, you know, mucus is supposed to be, you know, thin, flowing, clear. Well, if there's a lot of heat, you're cooking fluids off basically that mucus becomes more concentrated and thickened, congealed, and more has more of that coloration to it. So it's more of a sign of heat um, than it is necessarily of differentiating bacteria, bacterial or viral infection.